Alaskan Malamute versus Siberian Husky, which is better? Hello, and welcome back to Pets Aplenty. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more amazing videos. We're not surprised if you can't decide between a Siberian Husky and an Alaskan Malamute. Both dogs are hardworking, strong, loyal, and absolutely gorgeous. And they both look alike. It's true that both dogs have a lot in common. They're both spitz breeds, cold weather dogs bred to work hard, and both incredibly smart. However, there are actually quite a few differences between the breeds. If you're serious about bringing one into your home, then this video is right for you. It's time to learn the difference between Huskies and Malamutes, so you can be sure you're choosing the right breed for you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Round 1 Appearance and Size Alaskan Malamute Malamutes and Huskies are often confused with each other, but if you see them both standing side by side, there is no confusion. The Malamute dwarfs the Husky. A male Malamute stands at 25 inches tall and weighs between 85 to 100 pounds. Females are slightly shorter at 23 inches and should weigh around 75 pounds. You can occasionally find giant Malamutes that weigh around 140 pounds. However, due to their size, they often suffer with hip dysplasia. Like the husky, they have a dense double coat. The outer coat is short and coarse, whereas the undercoat is around 2 inches deep and is oily and wooly. This helps to wick away wetness and keeps them warm. In terms of color, it can range all the way from black, light gray, through to shades of red. Regardless of the color on the top of their coat, their underbelly will mainly be white along with markings on their face, legs, and paws. They will shed their undercoat twice a year. So during this time, you will need to brush them daily. Outside of this time, brushing twice a week will suffice. As for their eye color, unlike the husky, which is known for their dazzling blue eyes, Malamutes have brown eyes. While dark brown eyes are preferred for the breed standard, the shade of brown can vary from lighter shades of brown and orange eyes. Siberian Husky You should expect a male husky to stand at 22 inches tall and weigh around 50 pounds. Female should be a touch shorter at 20 inches tall and a bit lighter at around 40 pounds. Just like the Malamute, they have a dense double coat. They will shed this coat twice a year, both in spring and fall, so they aren't ideal if anyone in the household is allergic or if you like to keep your house immaculate and don't want dog hair on the floor. During heavy molting, you should brush them every day and outside of molting two brushes a week will help to keep their coats healthy. According to breed standards, their coat can be black, red, gray, sable, white, and and a Guti. Again, standing next to a Malamute, you will notice the Husky's head is smaller and their ears are tighter and closer together. They are known for their famous blue eyes, but they can also have brown, green, or mixed colored eyes. Without a doubt, the Malamute is the larger dog. One point for Alaskan Malamute, one to zero. Round two. Temperament. Alaskan Malamutes are playful, friendly, and confident. If you're looking for a guard dog, this is not the dog for you. They are quick to warmly welcome anyone, including strangers. Like any other dog, their temperament can be affected by three key factors. Genetics, training, and socialization. When choosing a pup, look for the middle of the road ones. You don't want the bully and you don't want the shy one in the corner. As they are working dogs, they have never-ending energy and love to run and play. However, However, this instinct to work and boundless energy can make them difficult to house train. You need to remember that they are pack animals, so when kept on their own, they will need to spend lots of time in their human pack. This means they will want to get involved in all the family activities. As they get to know you, this friendliness will grow into an extremely loyal bond and strong connection. However, because of their need for contact, separation anxiety is common with Malamutes, so make sure you can offer them plenty of time. You can reduce the chance of separation anxiety by socializing them at an early age. The more people, experiences, and smells you expose them to, the better. In terms of aggression, the biggest problem you will observe is food aggression. They should not be interrupted when eating. Siberian Husky If there is one thing to know about Huskies, is that they have high energy. Just like Malamutes, they are friendly and playful and give affection to everyone they meet. If you're looking for a guard dog, 
dog, the Siberian Husky is not for you. While they are known for this, your dog's individual temperament can vary depending on genetics, training, and socialization as a puppy. They are affectionately known as independent thinkers, meaning they will not be turned into an ultra-obedient dog. Remember, they are working dogs, meaning they have a huge amount of energy and are used to living in packs. This instinct means that it can be challenging to house train them. Because of their huge energy levels, they require lots of mental and physical stimulation. Without this, they can become destructive. Forms of destruction most often occur through digging, jumping, and chewing. As a pack dog, they are fine with other huskies. However, they can be prickly with other dog breeds. While they have a similar temperament, there are a few key differences. Malamutes need human affection, and a husky is more than happy to spend time without humans. Another point for Alaskan Malamute, 2 to 0. Round 3. Energy. When it comes to exercise, these guys are very similar. They both need lots and lots of it. They will both need at least 90 minutes of activity per day. But this shouldn't just be a 90-minute walk. They need to burn off some serious steam with intense exercise. This could be tug of war, frisbee, or even dog agility courses to name but a few. They also both benefit from being off-leash and allowed to run to their heart's content given that they are both sled dogs. It will need to be somewhere that is fenced off. So if you have a large enclosed yard, then this would be perfect. If you haven't got a large yard, do not fear. There are plenty of free doggy parks or enclosed fields that you can rent for an hour solely for this purpose. They're both working dogs who were built to run miles at a time without tiring. And this want for work is innate and can never be trained out of them. If they do become bored, they will destroy anything they can get their paws on. This is the main reason Malamutes and Huskies are put up for rehoming more so than the average breed, simply because their owners completely underestimate their need for exercise. If you can't give them the activity they need, then neither of these breeds are for you. One point for both, three to one. Round four, training. Both the Malamute and the Husky are intelligent breeds, which is great as it means that they can pick up commands quickly and as long as you are consistent, they will stick to them too. Obedience training is the key to both dogs, so make sure you are dominant and in charge. Having a strong pack mentality means that they require a clear pack leader, and if you don't assume this position or they don't think that you earned this position, they will decide to become the leader themselves. Not only does this lead to behavioral issues, but it can also lead to an unhappy household. So, it is vital that you get the pecking order established immediately. If you plan to crate train, make sure you get the right crate for this breed as the Huskies need a medium-sized crate and the Malamutes likely need an extra extra large crate if you get a giant Malamute. It is also important to socialize these guys from an early age. Socialization is important because it teaches your pup that humans and other animals aren't a threat and that there is no need to protect the pack from all strangers. By making every encounter a pleasant one through positive reinforcement training, your pooch will grow up to be a well-mannered and happy doggo. This is slightly more important for the Malamute as his barking and guarding tendencies are slightly higher than the Husky, and the Malamute is less tolerant of other dogs. If you want to overcome this in your Malamute, then socialization training is the answer. The Malamute is said to be a headstrong dog, much more than the Siberian Husky, so you may experience more difficulty training the Malamute than the Husky. With that being said, if you're struggling with training, either due to stubbornness or something else, then it is always a good idea to take them to obedience training classes where a dog behavioral therapist can assess your pup and assist you in the process. One point for Siberian Husky, three to two. Round five, price. You should expect to pay around $1,500 to $2,000 for an Alaskan Malamute puppy. However, matured and rescue Malamutes are significantly cheaper. A Siberian puppy can be purchased for around $400 to $1,000 depending on its parental lineage. If you get a matured or rescue husky, the price will be significantly less. One point again for Siberian Husky, 3 to 3. Round 6 lifespan. 
Alaskan Malamutes. On average, you should expect them to live to around 11 years old, with most living between 10 to 12 years. As this is a large dog, common health problems include hip dysplasia, von Willebrand disease, and chondrodysplasia. Siberian Husky On average, your Siberian Husky should live to around 12 years, with the majority living between 10 to 14 years. Common health problems include hip dysplasia, cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy. And the last point will be given to Siberian Husky, with a final score of 3 to 4 in favor of Siberian Husky. What a close match! Both of these dogs are simply amazing, and both have an impressive history and a remarkable working career. They really are the best of both canine worlds. Hardworking, intelligent pups who also shower you with love and affection. They both need huge amounts of exercise and will destroy your house if left unstimulated. However, they are both intelligent and pick up commands easily. So if you raise them correctly and maintain their needs, none of this should be an issue. When it comes to choosing a canine companion, the question is never which dog is better, but which dog better suits you and your lifestyle? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoy this video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. We will see you on the next one.